In war, a lot of things need to be done differently out of necessity. One of these things is how surgeries are done. In times of peace, most people would be right in thinking that more advanced equipment or technology would be the best choice for patients. During war, the reality on the ground can force us to change. What's needed from medical professionals is the capacity to be able to deliver care even if and when they're forced to work in low tech and low resource environments. Since November 2023, our war surgery team has been supporting the medical and healthcare professionals at the European Gaza Hospital in Khan Yunus. This includes life-saving procedures, surgeries, and post-operative nursing care, as well as physiotherapy. This is helping those with severe burns, fractures, or wounds from blasts or gunshot injuries. This war surgery team is made of specialists with different experiences. What they all have in common is knowledge of how to work in a low resource environment. They're trained to cope and manage the challenges of not having state-of-the-art equipment or all the tools usually available. During conflict, care provided to patients can be affected by anything from interrupted electricity, limited clean water, collapsed sanitation systems, lack of food, and difficulty getting items like sterile equipment. Right now in Gaza, many healthcare facilities are no longer functioning. This impacts the health outcomes of all residents as well as their recovery. War surgery and the adaptations that come with it are the best possible chance for people to receive the care they need in a volatile and uncertain time. War surgery saves lives.